Hello, ladies, gents, and filthy pirates about to be slaughtered. We return to Rimworld on our incredible expedition into the wilderness. Bargo Bamboozle, Jordan Singer, Luxter, and then Joan Chandler. I feel like I have had a John Chandler before, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's a new addition. She's going to hang back and just try not to make too much noise. Bamboozle is finally recovered. It must have happened at some point when I was doing my outro because this is exactly uh, right after. This is right after I did uh, solve my scrolling ralentization problem by logging right out of uh, Windows for some reason. Windows does the thing and there's some program that interferes with RimWorld and I need to restart. Anyway, all that matters. So we're ready. We're going to enter this place. Attack outpost. Pretty sure that in the middle of the night they're not going to do it, but so... We have uh, some time to spare. Let's uh, let these guys get all this food cooked. Oh boy. Oh, nice. They're moving on to pemmican now. It's going to be a ton of pemmican happening right now. And in fact, I could probably just move the pemmican elsewhere. It should not be in the freezer. It's taking up all this space that it doesn't need to be taken up by the pemmican because it doesn't need refrigeration. Maybe I can expand this area over here, make it a little bit bigger or something. Maybe I can just create a pantry, like a, a room right here. Something like that. I mean, I don't want to build that as late. But I also don't want all my pemmican to burn down. It will just dig. We'll dig into this area. Since we have so many diggers. Yeah, how about that? We have uh, diggers that don't really have anything to do. So let's make a pemmican vault. Let's do something like so. Still pretty thick walls, so enemies won't just get the idea of jumping straight in here. There you go. How you guys like my pemmican vault? It's going to be beautiful. Not that one. Okay. That looks pretty good. It's going to be glorious. It's going to be the most beautiful pemmican vault you've ever seen. Probably should put all the sarcophagus there. That would be a beautiful tomb, wouldn't it? Just make them underground and people, don't, they just walk in there. And we'll do that right here. We'll carve into the mountain and we'll put, move uh, all the sarcophagi over there. And it will be a Oh, going right at outpost. Oh, man. Are you guys ready to engage? Let's do it. There's actually lots of people here. I think it was eight. So it's not, it's not trivial. I think there's also one turret. Doesn't look like they have any mortars, which will make the planning that much easier. It's during the night, just raining down, it's freaking raining cats and dogs. Here's our four people, plus the, the, the burn. She's not really a burn because she is actually a doctor, right? She's the one that's about the doctor. Yeah, so she's actually going to be helpful if people get hurt, which will, go, will happen because... Uh, you know, it's not like the other fight, which was extremely trivial. I think the obvious approach will be going from here. I don't see any turrets. Which is awesome. Going from here, they'll attack me. Bumboozle will unleash the beasts. And everybody will perish. I think that is the, the approach that I need to take. So up the, you guys go. Actually, Joan Chandler, how about you? You stick around with them. Because... What the? Please enter our post. <laughs> uh, something new that I have just learned just right now. If you go over to the edge of the map, they actually leave. So that's awesome. That's a fantastic thing. I think I was told about this in, in the comments too. But I just completely forgot it. Anyway, here we are. Uh, Jordan Singer, don't get too excited. I know that you only have one arm. And uh, you run lopsided. Man, you're a really good builder. I really hope you don't get hurt here. <laughs> Boy, do you love to get some buildings done. All right. Everybody just, just charge in. And we'll shoot around the edges. I don't think there's any ch any reason to, to wait or to try to get better positioning or anything like that. We're just going to get over here. And the animals will do most of the dirty work. Don't get too crazy. I do hate how they... They swerve sometimes. All right. I think I want... They're going to go around, so... 
I mean, it's going to be rough. It's going to be rough. Get everybody in there. There you go. And Boozle. The problem is going to be Mega Stupid or Garganto Stupid are going to roam the moment that I get stationary. So that's going to be a little bit of a problem. So we definitely want to... How about this? Bamboozle is going to patrol. There you go. And that should keep Mega Stupid and Garganto Stupid um, tight behind him instead of roaming around because he's stationary. I think that should work. Okay, everybody's doing that. Joan Chandler, just go in there and don't leave, okay? Jordan Singer, get in there. Blargo, just get there. Luxter, it's going over there. All right. Bamboozle is doing the patrol. It's working. Let me give you a few more commands. Hmm... That's a lot of people. Wish I had a grenade to toss in the middle of them, but... Do we want to... Go around and try to shoot them? I think from there is a bad idea. I should shoot them from this side. And that will force them to go around, right? It's going to be messy. It's going to be messy. Let's get Blargo. Get Jordan Singer. Maybe Luxor should be shooting from, from afar. Anyway. Maybe Luxor should take position way back. Like here. Here's a good position for Luxor. Hopefully she won't be targeted, right? <laughs> Hopefully. Alright, Jordan Singer takes position over there. This is looking pretty good. Oh, here it comes. Thing is, I'm going to have several fighting fronts, aren't I? Here comes Jordan Singer. Shoot Diver. I could shoot Viking. I should actually be looking at these guys. This guy's a very good fighter. Wow, what excellent fighters over here. Those two are excellent fighters. These two, not so much. Sentra, very good with melee. Uh, I think Diver is the most dangerous. Because she'll get close and she will destroy me. Oh, come on, uh, Luxter. <laughs> It was a terrible shot. Okay, there's a nice shoot of a diver. Diver decides that now is the time to get high on Yayo. <laughs> it's obviously what you want to do, right? Just get that Yayo right into your nostrils. Okay, the moment that they start shooting back. Bamboozle, he's still patrolling. Okay, we have attracted them. Are they shooting? Oh, Blargo, get the hell out of there. Luster can continue being there. He'll probably be targeted. Get in there. Blargo, get in the cover. And boy, Gibbs, are you going to have a beautiful surprise. Get some shots on this guy. Man, he dodged. He dodged a freaking bullet right now. Oh, here it comes. It's so it's happening. Attack! Time to charge. Luxter, shoot diver. It's time to release the animals. Blargo shooting into the melee. Oof, Luxter is probably going to get targeted a little too much. But Ooh! Poor Gargan to stupid. Okay, Gibbs is down. Debbie is being targeted. Blargo, uh, you guys can just shoot at uh, the person that you want. Another <laughs> one buys the dust. Bamboozle! Attack Diver. She needs to get put down. Poof. Ooh, I'm a little concerned about our animals. Ah, shit. Jordan Senior is getting targeted. Charge. Charge, Bamboozle. Kill them all. Castle Weary Revenge? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, where is this Castle Weary? There it is. Is it attacking me? Is it attacking the enemy? Oh, Mega Stoop is suffering a lot. Ooh, oh, nice. I, I was a little concerned that Mega Stupid had gone down, but... Alright, actually Mega Stupid is not bad. Oh, our animals actually withstood that quite nicely. Alright, let's see if we can murder them all. <laughs> Very important to me to get each and every one of these pathetic wrecks completely destroyed. Luxter, get in position there to get some more shots. A little salty the bamboozle got hit there. Uh, get in there, Jordan Singer and Blargo. Bamboozle just put him down. Like the bitches that they are. And there's a castle wary. 
All right, let's see if we can get Sentra murdered. Castle War is going to keep Vikinger. Quest completed. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful thing. We should have a... Uh... I really want to kill these people. <laughs> I really want to kill these people. Oh, a Viking actually brought that guy down. Oh, Sab. You're actually fine. Blargo, can you catch up to them? Jordan is very fast. He might be able to catch up to them. Sentra is uh, pretty much a lost cause. But Vikinger should be able to brought down. Jordan Singer. Let's see if we can get them. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, Luxter did not land that last shot. That's too bad. Okay, that, that man is dead. Everybody's dead, right? Oh, Gibbs survived. And he's got some good gear. Sweet. Do we want this guy as a prisoner? It's pretty good. Slothful, though. Nope. And I, I will have taken any excuse not to take him. Okay, how's the health? Oh, uh, we're going to the other place. Blargo. Did not get touched. Bamboozle. Got a few. Uh, just a bruise. Wow. That's right. Jordan Singer has fibrous mechanites. That's what's going on with him. Uh, just like a few cracks and uh, bruises. Nobody's bleeding. All that's bleeding is our our poor, poor animals. Can we catch Sab, though? Can we catch Sab? Please, run faster. See if we can get a, a couple shots in there. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, damn it. All right, everybody off uh, alert. That guy's going to get wrecked. Um... Orders. Very good fight. Very happy with it. It is now mine. Everything's mine. And I will allow everything. Alright. Now what we can do, we'll definitely go in there. Often there's just nothing in these places. By the way, that... Mm, quest completed. You have defeated the enemy outpost. The payment from Kingship of Tarlusa has arrived and a faction relation has been proved by 18. There is the Doomsday Rocket Launcher. Which we will make another shelf for. Build another shelf. Uh, we'll put it there. That's decent. Look at all this pemmican in the floor. I really need that. Oh, it's already uh, getting some... Some digging done. We'll build another shelf over there. We'll put it where it belongs. An, ex an excellent assault rifle. Probably will give it to Tedwina. Not to uh, Luxter. She just, she's just a great shot. Yeah, look at that. Oh man, sniper rifles do absolutely luxter. Get a sniper rifle. There you are. That's awesome. Mm. Sniper rifles are like a, a mixed bag. They're awesome shooting people from afar, but they're definitely not something you want to equip everybody with because they're really, really slow, but they're so good to ruin enemies that just cannot reach you. Anyway, let's get some... Uh, animal sleeping spots, and we can patch them up. I know that you can... You can definitely cure everybody. Gibbs! Damn it. I don't want him to get murdered. I want to steal his stuff. Luxter, how much? Oh, you're a great brawler. All right. Uh, put down that sniper rifle. Get in a brawl. Melee attack. On the ground! Come on, he's dead. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> I wanted that flak vest on the flak pants. Ah, that sucks. That's too bad. Alright. Are these in full condition? Yeah, so I'll just equip the sniper rifle. And you guys can do whatever you want. Everybody's just eating and doing things. Uh, Bamboozle, how about you come over here? We're going to check out this, this area. Mm, this is now mine. Really? You had to break into places? That sucks. We'll get it done, though. Your singer, uh... Got pretty, uh, pretty wrecked, huh? Oh! It's just a bunch of beds. Alrighty, then. Well, that's nonsense. Nothing else to do here. Too bad none of them survived. I would have really liked... to get their gear. They have some really good gear. 
we got their weapons and we're definitely going to carry them. All right. No, escape. I'm trying to go to world. Click on the place. I mean, why not go to Ellis here? It's hostile. That's why. That's why you don't go to Ellis. <laughs> There's a bunch of evil people over there. All right. Just reform caravan. There's nothing else to do. Everybody's hostile over here. Yeah. I mean, I could give them some gifts. Give me all the meals. Nice. Even package survival meals. Uh, one medicine. I guess I'll take the yayo. I can give them the yayo. Bunch of corpses. We'll take every weapon. We can actually give those as gifts to the other faction. I don't know if it will be worth anything, but... Sending lamps, steel beds, a battery. Not interested. Alright. Definitely want those sniper rifles. I don't know if I want these... These guns. We have the chain shotgun. We'll, we'll uh, drop them off at the place. Alright, choose route. I mean, we're right there. Let's see what happens. Can we automatically travel? Automatically travel. Accept. Off they go. I do want them to come back home. A little concerned about their safety and the safety of the colony. The longer they spend out there, the more upsetting it's going to be. If I get attacked. Okay, she's uh, hauling the thing that I want to be hauled. This is keeping up the temperature beautifully. I'm very happy about that. David Spice, Baima, consuming fine meal. Rush Baby is the one that we want to deconstruct this. Deconstructing for some reason is pretty low priority. It's just internal internal priorities of RimWorld that you can't really touch unless you have a mod. Ooh, what's going on here? Ah, oh, it's just Luxter being a total bitch. Let's just get it on. I wonder why she has a major break, though. Like, I don't see why she will be so grumpy. Health, bio, stats. Better looks with eight rounds, blah, 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 blah. Recreation and fulfilled, observe a bunch of corpses. Come on, just get over it. You just murder them all. It was your doing. New lovers. New lovers, you said. Tedwina flirted with Rush Baby, but subtly complimented his brain power. Rush Baby, you're just a big brainiac. Rush Baby was attracted as is now Tedwina's lover. Wow, and he's already equipped with a double bed. Amazing. Uh, that's very... Very convenient because I completely forgot that we need more beds. And uh, somebody was sleeping on the floor as of right now, So, but no anymore. Very happy about that. To celebrate, we're going to give them some beautiful marble tile. There you go. Get that all the way there. And you know what? Tom Betts has had a, a garbage heap of a room for long enough. Let's get those marble tiles all done. Alright, soon this will be deconstructed. And we're going to get that. Uh, we'll just click on the zone itself. Expand the zone. Animal disease, the flu. That shouldn't be a big deal. We have a lot of handlers. It should be fine. And, and doctors. Regardless of where that is happening. Let's see. What you got? Wild Boar Comet and Wild Boar 11. Eh, if they die, they die. That's just too bad. It's just a bunch of boars. Um, oh man, look at all these. Ambrosia. Beautiful. And this Doomsday Device. Looks like their socialite is fully, fully healed. I guess Baima and... Oh! Luxus Caravan has met peacefully with a caravan kinship with Tarluza. Would much rather trade the junk that I'm carrying. Steel plate armor, huh? A flak jacket. I'll be interested in that. Smoke pop, not really interested. Those flak stuff. Something that I want. Absolutely. Why only have only have four? Oh, because we patched up the animals and they take a lot of medicine, that's why. Okay, let's keep the kibble. We have plenty of food. We can sell. Not much. We can sell the Yayo. That's it. They don't want any of the weapons because they're tribals and they, they think they're the work of the devil or something. But I do have some money. I do want I do have some money. I definitely want these flat jacket and pants. I think it's worth spending this money. It's hard, so hard to f f come by the money. 
But if I'm going to spend money, it's going to be on that. So there you go. You're pretty good. Move on. And now our poor Joan Chandler can have some gear on. Let's see. Um, they have marine armor. I am wearing the most wonderful clothes ever conceived, so I'm not going to change. So yeah, here you go. Flag jacket and pants. I think just by having pants, you're no longer nude, so you're not nearly as pissed. And we have a whole bunch of weapons, so you should definitely carry something. I uh, forget, how good are you? Ah, not very good. Just a machine gun of some description. Chain shotgun. Chain shotgun is a good idea. There you go. Nice. Actually, she's got a smoke... Uh, uh, what's it called? A belt. Get that off. Bambuzo has it on, right? Yeah, shield belt. Nice. Alrighty. Good stuff. These guys are going over there. Hopefully, I'm not needing to attack or nothing. But that means that I could have easily escaped. You guys remember... Ooh. Days of Mambozo? Why do you have to be like this? Because of poor mood. Because Major Stupid, you know, he just feels bad about Major Stupid. I understand Mambozo. I don't even blame you. Poor guy. Poor guy. What's with these uh, walls being uh, destroyed? Rhinoceros self tamed. <laughs> Alright, they decided to call him Kirill. Brutish stupid. Brutish stupid. Let's train him. Oh, he can't even haul. Rhinos are stupid as hell. Alright, we'll definitely train them in the other stuff though. Here comes Brutish stupid. He will be... He'll be a... Uh, uh, whoa! Oh, that's right. We can gift. But we cannot trade. I do want to gift them. Simply because I don't want to have the wealth. Give this garbage and the LMG. I'll keep the two sniper rifles. They're good stuff. Shield belt, I'll also keep it. We have another melee focused. Plus one. Wow, that's garbage. There you go. That was a total trash of an interaction, but whatever. Off they go. Off they go. Back to our wonderful homeland. Look at that. 69. That's totally worth it. Ben Nielsen getting... What? Peace Talks quest. Ooh. Marjo, Prime Counselor of Verinistan, a popular treaty, has sent us a message. She wants to talk with us in a nearby location. It could be a great opportunity to improve relations, blah 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 blah. That's not far. Off they go. This is Peace Talks. This is with us. This is uh, the longest trip I've ever embarked in. Major break risk on Luxter. She'll be okay. All right, we got some more storage over here. Oh! Well, you just you just sent a peace treaty. I mean, you're attacking. This is bullshit. <laughs> Several separate groups of Outlanders for Verenistan Popular Treaty have arrived nearby. It was all a ruse. They wanted to distract me. They are attacking immediately. Watch out! They appear to be unusually clever with their tactics. They'll avoid your turrets, feel the fire, and notice some of your traps. Okay, so we have a bunch of pirates over here. They are 5-8. That's not all. There's one there. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. We can deal with this. Actually, is it just one or really? Yeah, it's, it's one. We can deal with this. Let me double check. It seems like... Aha! I was like, ah, that sounds like too little. Too few. Oh, jeez. Why are you wearing your head? Psychic foil helmet. <laughs> He's wearing a, a tin foil hat. All right. What you got, my friend? Not very good fighters. This guy's a good shot. Zillard Mora. Okay, none of those guys are good fighters. I was very happy to see that. Here are our lone ranger right here. Very good fighter. Iron Will Fast Walker and Sangu Sanguine. Damn. That's a, that's a hell of a character right there. And then we have these people. Excellent fighter, but he is carrying Molotov cocktails, so he doesn't really matter. These are these are good shooters. These are some good shooters right here. This is the group that I need to really watch out for. Look at that. They even have some protection and stuff. Oof, this, is, uh, this can be rough. This can be very rough. 
I don't have the bunker yet either. Would I use the bunker? I don't know. This wall is oh, it's almost complete. Look at this. This is poorly, poorly made. This wall is not complete. All right, so we have. I think we just need to let these people do whatever they want. I can't. I can't handle them. I just can't handle them all at once. Um, and when they come from different locations. Each and every one needs to fought individually. Like, if these guys flee, these guys will still be attacking. So it's not a matter of, oh, let's kill them all and, uh, and uh, we'll be safe. No, 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 it will not work that way. What are you having? What do you have? A pump shotgun. We can deal with that. Uh, we can charge this guy and just get him murdered. An assassin. <laughs> all right, well, this is awful. We do have some people to defend, though. Not Rush Baby, definitely not. Not David Spice. He's our, our poor friend. And we also has the flu. What the hell? What the hell? It only told me animals had the flu, but David Spice also has the flu. Where are you? You're even resting. We, I really want to treat that before it gets out of control. I mean, David Spice is the guy that... Uh, uh, can barely do anything, right? Yeah, he has. I mean, he's, he's just a lump of flesh. Uh, but hopefully Baima can do something. I think Baima needs to be protected at all costs. She will let us recover. Ben Nielsen, everybody has the weapon. Coltona has no weapon. Man, she sucks ass at shooting. But I kind of need somebody to shoot here. Cannot have just... Can I have? I just equip that. Okay, Tobias Pete, you're a great shot. Equip that excellent assault rifle. Bima can just do with the pump action. Tobias Pete, what are you wielding? Heavy SMG. Probably that's what I want to give Bima then. The ah, but she'll go down. Man, this is going to be so rough. Who's closest? That's the question. Did winners over there? Mine are stupid. Okay. Well, let's go to the bunker here and hope for the best, okay? I think that's the best choice that I have available to me right now. Animals. Let's get these animals into the animal safety. Mine are stupid. The tortoise is very important to keep this tortoise safe. Actually, you can just go F yourself. Uh, comet, absolutely. All the boars go into animal safety. All the alpacas, all the boomalopes. Here's what we have many boomalopes for, isn't it? We're going to send a bunch of boomalopes out there. That's This is going to be our saving grace. The boomalopes are going to come to the rescue. First, we're going to unrestrict them. It doesn't matter. I will lose all the boomalopes. It, do, it doesn't matter. This is an emergency right now. All the dromedary, all the muffalos go into animal safety. British stupid. You're unrestricted. I think you're going to be on your own. I, you're not even trained to release yet. So just engage the enemy however you see fit, I guess. And I'll, I'll, just, uh, I'll just move you around. Um, big stupid. Is, uh, let's see. Oh, she's assigned to Baima. Is she bonded? I don't think so. But she's assigned to Baima. Let's go to Baima. She uh, cannot release them yet. It's too bad. Hmm, okay. Baima has the pump action. How far is she? Oof, that's so far. Yeah, she has no time. She has no time to go down there. Ben Nielsen, you guys go down there. t Rose, you also go down there. Rush Baby, getting Luxter's Rune. You might be able to avoid getting shot. Here we have David Spies that he can sometimes swing a weapon somewhat. Go over there. Tom Bet's absolutely going to get into the fray. Terwina. Terwina's really close. I think Coltona. She's an she's an awful shot. I think Terwina is the one that needs to grab that, that rifle. Because Tobias Peterson is too far. They'll probably set all my crops on fire. This is just going to something we'll have to deal with. 
Nothing I can do about it right now. Let's go all the way over there. Terwina, I know you have your shotgun. Coltona will grab that and then... Okay, let's just do that. Equip plasteel knife and then go there. Somebody needs to grab that excellent rifle, though. Baima would be the best candidate, but it's too far. How about this? Gear. Drop the chain shotgun. Go grab their assault rifle. David Spies. Who's the next that's closest? Tom Betts. He can... Uh, Tom Betts? Click on Tom Betts, please. Equip that chain shotgun. Because the chain shotgun is a, is a major... Major... Oh, wait. Uh, where's animal safety? <laughs> I moved into animal safety. I don't know where it's even at. Animal safety. Where is it? I don't think it's Oh, there it is. Inside our storage. Yeah, it sounds fine. Sounds reasonable. All right, that's another thing. That's uh, that's done. Uh, we have done all the people, right? We have everybody has been moved and queued up and all that good stuff. Now, the boomalopes. I think the boomalopes will engage with these people right here and hopefully set them on fire. And we will just do battle by hand against these guys. That is the plan. All right. So what we're going to do. We're going to make a zone. Uh, I guess we just go to manage areas, new area, rename. Oh, we have targeted gardening. Uh, that sounds good enough to me. Uh, targeted gardening. Clear allowed. Targeted gardening. Get that. Get rid of that. And now we're expand allowed area. Targeted gardening. Uh, here's the boomalopes. Do some rough times with the boomalopes, and hopefully, I mean, we will uh, micromanage them when they're closer. Okay, zone. I mean, animals. Boomalopes. We'll keep the calf. Okay, well, how we'll keep boomalope one and two because they're like the our primaries, and then we'll get three through seven. Oh, we'll go out there. See if you guys can explode this invade <laughs> invaders. <laughs> All right. Whoa, whoa, too fast, too fast. Everybody is moving into position. I'm a little concerned about nothing being here. Can I have Rush Baby construct that? I hope that he has the slate blocks already put in there. Yeah, 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 nice. So hopefully he'll have time to do it. Bamboozle is fully healed. Good for him. Good for him. Um, the wind is going down there to grab... Assault rifle, there she is equipped. Get the hell back there. Here comes Tom Betts for the shotgun. All right. Wow, they're so fast. All right, let's see. Zones. Targeted gardening. This is the new spot. Actually, let's make it right there. Clear that aloud. I know that they'll flee, but hopefully they'll get charged or something, you know? <laughs> All right, and uh, animals again. Let's do this. So they'll immediately head over to them. This guy still got some time to go. Wow, this guy is coming in fast. Okay, Rush Baby is building that. Tom Betts is equipped with the thing. Everybody's moving. Everybody's ready to go. T-Rose is, is getting there. Everybody else is getting in position. Nice. Andres Cudero. Get over there. Actually, David Spies. I hate that that tree is there. That's super inconvenient. David Spies, get in the middle there. See if Baima can get a few shots. Actually, the Nye. Yeah, Coltona is bringing... Who was it? Tedwina. Tedwina is bringing that assault rifle. They might not all have time to do it. Ben Nielsen, get in there to get some body shots. With a giant mace. Where's the asshole? There's the assassin. There's the people down there. Come on, attack my boomalopes. Attack them. You're not attacking the boomalopes. Oh, Alaska is attacking the boomalopes. Okay, boomalope, who are you? Seven and four. Zone. 
New area. Boom, boom. Expand zone. Boom, boom. Here you go, Alaska. Get wrecked. <laughs> and then animals. Uh, seven and four. Seven to boom, boom. And four goes to boom, boom. There you go. And they will be, uh, you know... At the very least, they'll be delayed, right? They're just peacefully grazing right there. Uh, our friend Sayuri here is hopefully going to explode pretty soon. That can uh, continue happening right there. All right, Rush Baby's almost done with the building. Here comes Hurdle. It's going to uh, face some strong opposition by Ben Nielsen. I don't want him... Yeah, there you go. That's beautiful. Beautiful spot to get into, into a fight. Very good spot. Uh, Tobias Peterson can actually come over there. Tom Betts. You guys all need to get in there. What the hell was that? Death of Boomola 4. Well, Alaska was a complete psychopath. Boomola 4 has exploded. Unfortunate. But what can you do? Come on, Sayuri. Just get blown up. I, we're kind of just buying time with those boomalopes over there. Hopefully it'll be enough. Uh, Rush, maybe please uh, go there. And don't get... Oh, nice. A s <laughs> hurdle got completely wrecked. I'm a little concerned about these guys, though. It's all good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all good. Coltona. Get in there. Tedwina. Everybody goes in there. Uh, we're just going to ignore the other people and hope that nothing bad happens to me. Brutish, stupid, and big stupid. I maybe should... At least brutish stupid. He definitely should be going out there. So let's assign that um, animals. Brutish stupid. Go over there to animal targeting. And at the very least. Oh, come on. They went down instead of blowing up. Whoa. Yeah, yep, yep. That's the thing that just happened. That's okay, though. Baima. Get behind that stuff so you can get some shots. Coltona. Get ready to intercept. Terwina. Uh, Coltona can go over... Tom Betts, come on. Just, just get out there. And interact with our friends. Alaska's getting closer. Man, we worked so hard to get these uh, boomalopes ready to go. But they're definitely slowing them down. That's all that we want. So we can deal with these people in time. Okay, Tom Betts, get Fauna destroyed. Coltona, get in there. Boomalope 6. Please tell me one of them. Oh, nice. <laughs> we got one of them on fire. That's all that we could hope for. It's unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Come on, brutish stupid. You can get out there. You can do some damage. Unfortunately, Tom Betts got a bruise. Not a big deal. Uh, I want everybody out there. Where's Baima? I don't want her to be hurt. So she should definitely be hanging back. Tobias Speed, get a little bit closer. Let's see. Get him there. And Baima can go over there. I don't want her to be shot at all. Because she's the one that will... Patch everybody up. Go there. Okay, fine. I should be going down pretty soon. How's the other flank? Where's Brutish Stupid? Where are you even going? Animals... No, I get... It. <sighs> Tossed into animal safety instead of targeted. Brutish Stupid. There you go. You can go over there and gauge. Oh, don't blow up my Ambrosia. Nothing. Not my Ambrosia. Anything but my Ambrosia. It's alright. It's okay. The turtle is eating potatoes. It's all good. <laughs> oh man, Dean is just making a beeline for Baima. Davis Pie is intercept. Okay, Andres Guerrero ate it. <laughs> Whoa! Chopped off her leg almost. Ben Nielsen, we, we need some, some power going on here. Please, get out there. Oh man, Andreas Guderi is actually suffering a lot. Man. Ben Nielsen, attack! David Spice, attack! Did we not? Oh wow, that's a lot. Get out there. Boom, up one. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad they set my Ambrosia on fire. Have a uh, bigger problem than that. Tiros is not getting any shots in there. But, you know, it, it just makes sense because it's so rough right now. I don't want Tiros to be in danger. Colin's there's rescue. 
Yeah, Terwina went down. She is very close to death. Kill this asshole. All right, that guy's dead. Tobias Peterson's getting shot at. Nadine and then Brett. I really don't want to be shooting the guys that are in full armor. But, you know, I don't have much choice. I hate... Her right leg is cut off. <laughs> ben Nielsen. Let's get on Nadine's face. Oh, Tobias Peterson, you're getting wrecked right there. How about you shoot uh, Jess in the back? Go there. David Spies. Just charge Nadine. Uh, see if you can get Elad. Whoa, those shots. Get some shots in the lad. Actually, yeah, it's much rather, much rather just charge Brett. Okay, somebody else went down. Coltona took care of that. What a rough fight. What a rough fight. Come on, fellas. You guys can do it. There's a lot of crossfire going on over here. Really not comfortable with it. Ben Nielsen is so far out in the open. I wish that Baima could get some shots in. But it's so hard to do it without being hurt. And Baima is our... Our savior. She's the only doctor right now, I think. Let's see. Medical. Zero. Zero. I'm David Spice can doctor, but he sucks ass. I'm manipulating. <laughs> Look at that. Kultana can patch some people up. So yeah, Baima is really, by far, the best doctor we've got. How are these maniacs doing? British stupid already down on the floor. Has anybody been hurt? None of them are hurt. Man, that's rough. We got... It's only five people, though. Is it only five people? No, it's six people. If we get through this fight, which it seems like it's getting pretty close... Oh, I hate that Ben Nielsen got hit there. He's so far in the open, but we need to bring down Elad. Come on, go down. All right, Outlanders. Uh, just ignore them. Ignore them completely. Actually, Elad needs to die. He's definitely going to keep uh, being a problem. So just bring him down, or try to bring him down. And then we can move on to the other maniacs over here. There comes Big Stupid. He's going to get shot to death. All right. Oh, Ben Nielsen is down. I thought that somebody else was. It sucks. Elad is such a scumbag. All right, you're dead now. All right, who's left? Not many, not many. We got Ben Nielsen and Terwina down. Uh, but if we get three of these people down, can we do it? So we don't have to deal with somebody with marine armor. We got Sharon over here and Phoenix. It's also Zillard. Tell me he didn't die. No, nah, he's dead. I wish I could uh, take his armor. Okay, what's the... Uh, Health situation here. No immediate danger, so Ben Nielsen can just stay there. Terwina, though, death in six hours. Um, rescue Terwina. She'll, uh, she's going to the hospital. Which is kind of in the middle of enemy fire. <laughs> uh, so maybe, maybe cannot do that yet. So pass on that. Okay, let's just st start getting in, inside the base. Get into positions, ignore the other people. There's no choice but to do that. Uh, I really want Sayuri to die. She has a shotgun, so I can just shoot her out in the open. Uh, of course, then there's Sillard and Alaska over here. that are a major problem. But if we can maybe isolate them. I think our best chance is to go through here. There, and then there. Baima, though, she's going to try to get some shots on Sayuri over here. Especially because it isolates her. Are you really going to the animals? What is your your major malfunction? So you, you're targeting my turtle, aren't you? You freaking weirdo. You evil piece of trash. Get wrecked. Alright, everybody. Go over to that side. Where did the guys go to? Are they setting fire to my stuff? Zillard! What's your problem? Disturbing the dead. Do you not have something better to attack, you scum lord? What a piece of garbage. You're trying to murder and molest my, my corpses. What is your problem? Okay, Sayuri got a, a shot into their face. 
How's Andrea Scudero? Death in four hours. Because she's just hopping on one leg. Andrea Scudero. <laughs> she's not long for this world. I mean, we're going to try. We're going to try our best. But these guys need to go. Everybody. It's every hand on deck right now. I think uh, Coltona needs to just charge in there. Holy crap! <laughs> you piece of garbage. <laughs> He's killing my... My boomalo baby! How freaking dare you! Outrageous! Outrageous! Come on, Baima, you really need to bring down Saya, Soma, blah blah, whatever the hell her name is. Coltona, hold back, hold on a little bit. Do we want to charge her? Charge this guy? Let's get everybody in position before we charge. I'm just good there, just going to go down so quickly. Death in 10 hours for Tom Betts, he's going to make it, I think. There is spies, though. I mean, he, he should die in battle, honestly. <laughs> He's a nice old man. What are you even doing there? He's just waiting. Oh, no, he's just, he just wants to destroy my sarcophagus because he's an asshole. Okay, Tobias, get in position there. T-Rose also. Let's see if we can get some shots in there. I'm just good there. Just boom up too. Oh, I don't even think that I wanted boom up too to die. Animals. Do I have any boom lobes left? Yes, we'll have to uh, we'll have to resort to solar power, huh? <laughs> At least Sayuri is on fire now, so there's that. Oh, Phoenix! Holy crap! Is if Phoenix gets a shot on Baima, it's all over. David Spice, you are our only hope. What's the range on this thing? Get back there by the trees, Baima. Please start you big stupid. Just do that. Did they bring him down? Nope. Fulton is just trying really hard to shoot that man in the face. To stab that man in the face. How are you doing with health? You're doing fine. Major stupid is going to be desecrated. This is just not right. Tobias Speed can actually just hang over there. Get over, over behind that. Hey, he's just getting wrecked. So many bruises. How good of a fighter was this guy? Not very good. All right, well, that, that's one down. Let's see if we can locate the other red dots. Phoenix is a real problem. He murdered David Spies already. And they're shooting my... Oh, this is so bad. This is so bad. Rush Baby might need to go out there. Tom Betts is also extremely hurt. What's the range on this thing? He might be able to get a shot there, but he'll be so out of so uh, completely out of cover. Let's see if we can go there. Big stupid, you're just a big uh, dum dum, aren't you? Well, we killed one of the guy, one of the guys. I don't want to go around that area. I guess they just have to go through. Where's the other people? There's Sayuri, Phoenix. Oh, Blake and Sharon just setting fire to my car. It's all right. <laughs> no big deal. No big deal. Thankfully, Phoenix really wants to kill this turtle. It's very important to him for this turtle to be de destroyed. Rush Baby, would you like to go out there? No, bye, bye. Don't get hurt. Would you have to be go out there and be a, a roaming human target? That would be great. <laughs> you could distract Phoenix so our only a doctor doesn't get destroyed. Oh, excellent shots there. Rush baby, just, just get close. Just get close. You'll just say hello, see if you can negotiate. Oh, bye, my save the day. But Sayuri's still here. Oh, she only has a shotgun though, so it's all good. Uh, if Sayuri goes down, she it's actually all good. All over. Oh, we have survived. Now, survived, but not unscathed. Can we save Terwina and Andrea? See if we can get it. I'm just still hopping around. Yeah, <laughs> she has three hours. Rest until healed. Actually, impromptu uh, medical bed. Actually, I don't have I don't have many medicine over there, so it, it makes no sense, right? Yeah, I was going to do that, but the medicine is really far. So just set owner for Luxter. She's out. So I need to do it when she comes back. Anyway, Andres Cudero, get a rest until heal. Everybody else. Undrafted. Uh, that doesn't matter. It's not gonna catch fire. Just ignore it. 
Uh, let's see the health situation here. Rush baby. Rescue David Spice. Ben Niels is in is no uh, danger. Actually, David Spice is like super low priority. To be honest with you, and no one survived. Everybody's dead. I don't get any loot out of this that I wanted. Terwina. Yes, yes, yes. Oh wow, Rush baby. Get Terwina. Super important. Um, Tobias Pete. What's your health? Definitely need to go. Rest until healed. Rush baby. Rescue Terwina. All right, Coltona. You got bruised a lot. Let's use uh, rest until healed. T-Rose is great. She, she didn't do much. <laughs> Distinguish that fire. All my corn is on fire. You assholes. You bunch of assholes. Uh, I actually care about this, though. So, uh, how about T-Rose? Just go out there. Can I extinguish fire, huh? Zone. Holy crap, 50 minutes. Expand this. We're going to deal with this crisis. I'm going to leave it here. Actually, let's... Let's queue. All the orders. Make sure everybody... Tending to brutish stupid. Who the hell cares about this rhino? Baima. You need to be a full attention to start patching everybody up. Uh, you can... On the way there, you can rescue David Spies. Tom Betts needs to just rest until healed. There you go. Ben Nielsen is down, but he's in no immediate danger, right? Yeah, he's just bleeding a bit. He's probably going to get infected. Terwin is getting rescued. Colton is going there. And Andrea Scudero will probably need to be rescued at any point now. She's just hopping around in her one leg. Just screaming her lungs out. There goes... Man, he's fast. What a scumbag. Okay, there goes Baima. Rush Baby's gonna get Tedwina. I think everybody's gonna survive, hopefully. It really sucks that Ben Nielsen went down. The best piece is actually going to make it there on foot. How's British stupid? Is he going to survive? Yeah, no. That's not gonna do. <laughs> not gonna do. They slowed down the incursion. That's all that matters. Really hate this, though. This is gonna be a major, major problem. Like, all this stuff is probably gonna get lost. Um, Katira's, though. She'll she hopefully get... Get uh, get around to it. Rush baby is rescuing that. All right, uh, all the animals. Before I forget, get all these animals. Unrestricted, actually hauling animals. Tortoise, no animals inside. Everything, no animals inside. Boomalope, they're dead. Every boomalope's dead. That sucks. But you know they did their part. I mean, obviously. They were a little bit wasted. Bit stupid, can be in the hauling targeting area. All right. Obviously, they were a bit wasted. There's no question about that. The boom. Oh, my thing's on fire. It's because of this boomalope. What can I do about this fire? That's kind of an important fire. I mean, I can lose the crops. This sucks to lose this hill road that is 90%. I don't really care too much about the hops and all that stuff. I do need to extinguish this one, though. I don't want my entire base to catch fire. So come over here, T-Rose. Let's try to extinguish this garbage. Man, that pains me. That pains me. Anyways, it's been a long time. Here comes Baima to save the day. Let's do some triage here. Definitely 9 hours. No danger. This is 15 hours. Uh, until you get some more people. You can simply uh, get to whatever the hell you want to do, Baima. Can't believe David Spice is actually going to survive. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to leave it right here. It's been a, a horrible disaster, but we survived. We survived a horrendous problem. Whew, I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Until then, make whatever sacrifices need to be done. <laughs>